Good afternoon. My name is Anthony Brown and this is Ragstill Creek Workshop. I hope you enjoy the video today. It's made for your enjoyment. This machine and not too experienced as it. Please be safe because this stuff is dangerous. I've seen guys get their hands messed up and that's no good. So if you uh, machining, please be safe. Wear your uh, your eye protection and your earplugs. So uh, please don't wear gloves around this moving stuff because it's uh, it's dangerous. It'll grab them gloves and tear a finger or mess up a hand in a heartbeat. So please don't wear gloves and. Uh, like I said, wear all your safety equipment and be safe. Hope you enjoy the video. If you're not subscribed, please do so. Uh, you don't have to. Just come back anytime. I enjoy having people view my uh, videos here. Today we're going to take this little uh, cheap Chinese indicator apart. Uh, I've had this thing uh, probably 20 years and uh it just quit working uh about a year before i retired and uh i never did take it apart to see what was exactly wrong with it so we're gonna do that today Well, I see it. The lever ain't moving the other little handle there, so we'll just uh, take these other three little screws out and see what we can see. Okay, what had happened, uh, this little lever right to... Uh, this little lever right here has got a spring on it that moves it back and forth. And it had jumped on the opposite side of the uh, uh, little uh, stud in there. And uh, I don't think it's repeating. So I don't know what... Uh, I don't think that spring's tight enough. Hold on, let me get back in there and... See if I can stretch it spraying a little bit. Okay, we're going to put the screws back in it and see what we got. I can't really tell without these uh, screws being put back in it. So let me get these screws put back in it and we'll come back. Okay, we got the screws back in it. I had to go get me a, a little magnet and put on the side of my screwdriver. I couldn't hold them can get them little screws to line up it uh, it seems to be working fine now uh, that spring had jumped on the wrong side and uh, I just added a little bit more tension to it uh, we'll come back and I'll put this back together and uh, uh, we'll check it with uh, some gauge blocks or uh, something there Okay, we got her back together. Now we're going to check our uh, indicator is accurate. So I've got 143 gauge block, a 148, and a uh, 149. So let's uh, see what we got here. And uh, we'll go up to, we'll put it on zero. I felt, I felt something under it right there. Let me clean that up a little bit. Okay, let's try this again now. This is a 143. And this is a 148. So it should read plus five.
reading plus five and a half. Well, that's about force 148 and two tenths or so. Uh, and this is a well, there we got one 143. Let's see what the 149 does. It's about two tenths, two, two or three. This is a plus two tenths set, so that should be six, and it's about two tenths over. So I'm satisfied with it. Uh, it didn't work at all before, so. That'll do. I found uh, two gauge blocks with the same deviation according to, according to the uh, spec sheet we got here. It was a, uh, uh, let's see what, we got a 117 and a 123. So the 117 is checking. So that means the 123 should be right on zero. So, the other deviations was, uh, uh, one of them was one way and one of them was the other way, so uh, that made it even look worse, but uh, I'm proud of that. It uh, looks like it's right on the money. Just thought art and seen that, so uh, again, thank y'all for being here, uh, watching my videos. I appreciate all the uh, views I get, uh, and if you... Would tell your friends and uh, have them check it out. Uh, there'll be more videos right now. I'm just setting up a shop at one or two a month is all I'll be getting out. Uh, maybe this this month, but uh, maybe it'll be more next month. Thank you for stopping by. Thought I'd give y'all a close up look at this uh, insides of this. Uh, indicator uh, as to what uh, what went wrong with it and what fixed it and uh, let's see if we can zoom in here and uh, I don't if you can see that spring uh, right there it jumped on the opposite side of this little, well, this little stud right here. It jumped on the opposite side of it, and that's the reason it wasn't working. And when I put it back to where it was uh, working, it uh, didn't have enough tension. So I uh, bent it the other way where it would have enough tension, and it... Uh, it worked fine and what all it does is it's got uh, this uh, pendulum here that works off of these other gears down in here this is your uh, it's like a watch mainspring here with a little uh, uh, spring inside of it and then you got a gear uh, down in here and this 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 pendulum on that gear it goes back and forth and that's what moves your needle and your needle works off of uh, let's see your needle works off of this uh, let's see let me get it in focus again let me back off a little bit The uh, needle works off of this gear here. It's got a uh, 
it's geared on top right here and it works off of this gear and your ratchet and your pen I mean not ratchet but your pendulum works off of the other gear down in down in here and when it goes in there it turns that but what had happened was over here uh, let me get this back where it, this little spring right here had jumped on the opposite side of this post right here this post right here and didn't have no tension at all wasn't working at all when I put it back over here it didn't have enough tension on it that it wouldn't uh, repeat so I put uh, just a little bit more tension on it by bending it the opposite way and uh, it, it was working fine. It uh, gauge blocked out uh, just fine, and uh, that's. Uh, I just thought I'd bring it back and open it back up and show y'all exactly uh, what happened and how how I fixed it. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Come back anytime. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Hit the little bell to get your notifications. Thank you and good night.